do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello friends in this video we are going to study about the glass tube method ek minute wahan pe se na hello friends in this video we will study about the sight glass tube method which is used for the level measurement here we will study the principle of working its construction advantages disadvantages and applications together with the limitations of this method so let us start with our topic the sight glass tube method it is also known as the gauge glass method and this method is used for the liquid level measurement by the term liquid level measurement we means that we are using this method for the measurement of the level of the liquid so what is this liquid level liquid level is defined as the position or height of the liquid above a datum line or a reference line so whenever we are doing the liquid level measurement means that if the liquid is contained in a container or a vessel suppose that this is the container in this we are having the liquid now we want to find out the level of this liquid in this vessel or the container so what we will know the height or the position of the liquid above this datum line or the reference line we are taking the bottom of the beaker as a reference line so what is the height or what is the position of the liquid above this datum line is called the liquid level so this sight glass tube method or gauge glass method it is used for the measurement of liquid level okay now this method is used for the continuous indication of the liquid level of their tanks or the boilers in the industries or the plants so this uh, sight glass tube method or the gauge glass method it gives us the direct indication or the direct reading of the liquid level also we can say that it is used for the continuous indication of the liquid level because this sight glass tube method it will continuously give us the readings of the liquid level or the level of the liquid which is contained within a tank or boiler or the vessel so we can say that it is the simplest method now let us see that how this sight glass tube method it measures the liquid level
use of this side glass method because it is measuring the level of the liquid so we can say that it is a type of level sensor which senses the level of the liquid how it consists of a transparent tube through which the operator of a tank or boiler can observe the level of liquid contained within so this transparent tube it is attached outside the tank or the boiler the level of the liquid in the tank is same as that in the side glass tube okay so in the tube and in the tank the level of the liquid is same so the operator of a tank or the boiler the operator can observe the level of the liquid by reading the scale of the which is or by reading the scale which is marked on this transparent tube so this transparent tube it consists of some um, scale or some graduations are marked on it and through that graduations the operator can take the readings of the liquid level in the tank or the boiler so we uh, you can see that this is the most simple method that the level of the liquid is same in the tube and in the tank so through this the uh, operator can get the direct readings of the liquid level this side glass technique or the gauge glass technique in detail so as i have said that it consists of a transparent tube so the main part is a graduated tube So the main part of this side glass tube method is the graduated transparent tube which is made up of toughened glass so that it cannot break easily. Now this graduated tube it is connected to the interior of the tank at the bottom whose water level we want to measure. So uh, this tube is connected at the bottom so as soon as the level of the liquid is increasing in the tank same level is being increased in the tube also okay let's see the diagram or the arrangement for this okay so this is the tank whose level we want to measure the liquid is contained in this tank and we want to find out the level of this liquid now this is the tube the side glass tube which is connected side because we are seeing at this glass tube and this is the graduated glass tube having markings over it okay on this tube we are having markings of the level of the liquid so the observer it is going to reach the level of the liquid because level in the tank and level in the glass tube is same okay and this glass tube is attached at the bottom of this tank so the observer it is going to directly take the readings of the liquid level by reading this scale on this graduated glass tube So as the level of the liquid in the tank it rises and falls the level of the liquid in the side glass also rises and falls accordingly. So by measuring the level of liquid in the side glass we can measure the level of the liquid in the tank. Now this was the case when the uh, tank is an open tank and 
we can say that the tank is not under any pressure okay now how we are going to measure the level of the liquid in a tank which is closed or which is under some pressure there is a different arrangement for that So when we want to find out the level of the liquid in a tank which is under some pressure or which is in a vacuum condition. So for that uh, type of situation the sight glass it must be connected to the tank at the top also and at the bottom also. So there will be two connections of the sight glass uh, to the tank one at the top and one at the bottom. Let's see the arrangement for this. So when the tank is a closed tank and it is under some pressure or vacuum then this side glass tube it is connected at the bottom as well as at the top of the tank. So you can see that the level of the liquid in the tank and in the side glass tube they are same. Now why such arrangement is being done because this tank is under pressure. So if the tank is under pressure then due to this pressure difference between the tank and the side glass tube there will be a false reading and the operator is going to give us an incorrect result. So pressure difference between the tank and side glass can give false reading. Now in this case this side glass tube it is kept in a protective housing so as to protect it from the external environments and also there are two valves present here. So that if we want to remove this side glass for the maintenance and for the cleaning purpose we can easily do it okay. So it is also provided with two volts in case of any breakage or any damage or any cleaning of the side glass tube and also this side glass is kept in a protective housing to protect it from the other environmental and external factors. Now uh, we have seen here that the side glass tube method it is using the principle that when the uh, side glass tube is connected to the tank the level is same in both these uh, side glass and the tank. So how it is being possible?
so this construction and working of side glass is based on the principle that the pressure balance is obtained at any points in the fluid which are at equal distances above or below some reference so we are taking the bottom as our reference line and we are keeping both the vessel and the side glass tube at the same level okay from or we can say at the same height above this reference line so pressure balance is obtained at any points in the fluid which are at equal distances above or below some reference now if the liquids they are subjected to some external pressure and they have same specific gravity the level will be same in both the vessels so this is the principle on which the side glass tube method is working that how the level of the liquid in both the tank and in the uh, side glass they are equal because both the are at the same level from the reference line okay same height is there so when the liquid is at the same height from the reference line in two vessels and which are under say, uh, some external pressure and having same specific gravity then the level of the liquids will be same we are taking the readings of the uh, liquid level from the side glass tube we are having a scale over it and this scale is calibrated in terms of the level of the liquid Now when we are using the side glass tube method for measuring the liquid level of the liquids which are under very high pressure then under those conditions we have to take some precautions because under high pressure there are chances that the side glass tube may get damaged. So in that case the glass tube that uh, high pressures they cannot damage the glass tube now as we have seen here that uh, this glass tube method with this uh, side glass it is connected with the tank itself so it is used for the uh, means at the same location where the tank is located this method has to be used for remote locations if we want to use the side glass tube method then there is a different arrangement for that so how we can use this side glass tube method for the remote indication of liquid level let us see because this side glass in this method in the construction we have seen that the side glass is connected with the tank itself so wherever the tank is located the side glass is also located there and the observer has to go near to the tank and then take the readings from the side glass tube so if we want a remote indication that if the controller or the observer is in the control room and from there it wants to see the level of the tank then how we can do this So if the operator wants to see the level of the liquid from the control room then it can use uh, it can take the help of the CCTV system uh, the glass tubes uh, they are fixed at different places on the tank and with the help of the CCTV camera the observer or the operator which is uh, uh, sitting in the control room it can take the readings of the liquid level. So if we represent it with the help of a diagram Thank <laughs> you. 
so the wherever the open tank or the closed tank is located there we will be having the side glass uh, connected with it and the side glass is giving us an indication of the level of the liquid now the cctv camera it is going to give us a remote indication of the level measurement and the cctv monitor which is in the control room there the operator is uh, sitting and through the cctv monitor it can get the readings from the side glass tube so not only the means it can use it can be used for the remote indication of level measurement also with the help of the cctv system okay now let us see the range of the gauge glasses This method is also known as the gauge glass method. So let us see the ranges of the gauge glass. So it is in general practice or in standard practice the glass tube of not uh, of more than 900 mm length is not used and if the length or if the height of the tank is Really the glass tube which are more than 900 mm length they are not used so if the height of the tank is more than 900 mm so in that cases two or more side glass tube are used. Okay, so we can say that the range of the gauge glasses up till the 900 mm of length and if the height of the tank is more than 900 mm then we have to use two or more side glasses which are located at different places on the tank to get the readings of the liquid level. So this was the construction principle and working of the side glass tube method. Now let us see the advantages and disadvantages of this method. The first advantage of this method is that through this method we are getting the direct reading of the liquid level. So direct reading is possible. And also special designs are available for use up to 650 kilograms per centimeter cube of liquid level. Also in this side glass tube method there are special designs like the glassless designs which are available in the numerous materials for corrosion resistance. Okay, so to provide resistance against the corrosion or to protect the glasses from the corrosion we are having glassless designs also available. Also the advantage is that Direct reading is possible, special designs are available, glassless designs are there and also there is no, because no moving parts are there, nothing is there so it is simple to use and its maintenance is also easy. Okay, so these are the advantages of the side glass tube method. Next are the disadvantages.
so the main disadvantage of this method is that the reading of the liquid level has to be taken where the tank is located and which is not always convenient for the operator and the observer so this is the main disadvantage that the observer has to take the readings where the tank or the boiler or the, in the vessel is located Now in the cold weather conditions it may happens that the liquid in the side glass tube it may freeze but the liquid which is present in the tank it does not freezes so in that conditions this method gives us an error in the readings so there are conditions in which the liquid may freeze in the side glass but not in the tank so that is also a disadvantage of this method that in this case it is going to give us an error in the readings. Now this side glass tube method it cannot be used for the heavy viscous liquids or the liquids containing materials which can clog the tube okay because these heavy viscous liquids they are going to block the walls and also they are going to clog the tube okay so if we want to clean the tube it will be very difficult and also it is not give us uh, it is not going to give us the correct readings so heavy viscous liquids or liquids containing materials which can and clog the tube they cannot be measured with the help of this glass tube method Another disadvantage is that the accuracy and the reliability of this method depends on the cleanliness of the liquid and the tube that how we are cleaning the tube how we are maintaining the tube then only uh, on that the accuracy and reliability of this method depends if the tube is not clean it is not uh, clearly maintained then the uh, instrument is not going to give us the correct reading its accuracy will also decrease and its reliability will also decrease so these are the disadvantages of this method now next comes the applications along with its limitations applications and limitations we are discussing here because applications they will be applicable in some cases whereas they will not be this method will not be applicable in other uh, methods or other situations so what are its limitation that why it cannot be used in such conditions so we are studying its applications along with its limitations So this side glass tube method it is not highly suited for the industrial applications because we have seen that its major disadvantage is that we have to take uh, the operator has to take the readings from the location where the tank is located okay so manual weighing and transmission of information is required by the operator so this uh, method is not highly suited for the industrial applications okay because it is not uh, the uh, every time the operator has to go to the place near the tank it has to go and take the readings and also it has to transmit the information to the controller who is sitting in the control room so this transmission of information and 
the manual wooing it is going to an disadvantage of this method so it is not suited for the industrial application it is a limitation of this method Now these methods they can be used for the liquid level measurement in the tanks which are used for the storage of lubricating oils or water okay so in that cases this method can be used also this method it is not suitable for dark and dirty liquids because for dark liquids it will not be easy for the observer to take the readings because it is a transparent glass tube it, uh, it is going to uh, dark the readings so it will be difficult to take the readings by the operator also dirty liquids they are going to clog the walls and uh, the uh, side glass it will be uh, not cleaned properly so in the case of dark and dirty liquids it cannot be used also this method cannot be used for the hazardous liquids which can broke or uh, with damage the glass tube also for heavy and the viscous liquids it cannot be used because again these uh, liquids will contain the materials which can block the glass tube so we can see that this can be used for only those liquids which are having very less density okay and uh, very uh, smoothly they can run in the tank they can flow in the tank so only the lubricating oils and for the water level measurement these this method is can be used and also we have seen that this method is a very old technology so this method cannot be used where automation of the industrial processes has been done okay so in this video we studied about the sight glass tube method which is used for the liquid level measurement we uh, studied here its construction its principle its working its advantages disadvantages along with its applications and limitations so i hope that this topic is now clear to you thank you